Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a video which is all about prepping your skin in the morning when you're looking tired or you feel that your face is drooping or you just have that one of those baggy face days that we all get now and again. This is something that I've been doing my whole career, not just on myself but on all of my clients whenever I've had someone who's been jet lagged or partying the night before or whatever, this is something that I've always used and believed in. Now it's basically ice therapy, which has been around for a, you know, a long, long time. Historically, it comes from Ayurvedic medicine, but also in the ancient Roman times, you can read about cold compresses and frigidariums and the use of, of cold water or, or ice or cold rooms to kind of heal inflammation and um, just brighten brighten yourself up. So the use of ice on the skin and the contours of the face can be applied in many different ways. Some people just like to fill a sink with cold water and have kind of ice in there and plunge their face in. This is something that personally I don't recommend unless you have skin which is not prone to broken capillaries or sensitivity because any extremes of freezing cold water and then maybe heat can result in sensitivity or broken capillaries. So I tend to prefer myself to apply it more locally and um, just apply it kind of in a more controlled way. So when you see photographs of women in the 1950s and 60s with that, well you see them today even with their sort of slices of cold cucumber or tea bags on their eyes, it really, you know, sometimes the old cures are the best and it's something that I believe is just, it's something which is, it's proven itself over time. So I'm gonna show you different ways to do it, um, the completely free way and the way you could probably just go and do right now yourself in your kitchen and I'm going to show you some of the ready-made kits that are on the market as well, if you're not a DIY sort of a person. So the easiest way to do it is just with ice cubes. So just with H2O, and then take a cloth. These are just cleansing cloths that I've cut into four, but you could use a tea towel, a clean tea towel. And then you just put your ice cube in and use the rounded side, so not the pointy side, to start massaging your face. So for your contours, I start kind of around the chin area and then just hold the cold against the skin a few seconds and then sort of slide up and press again. And you don't need to do it for a long time. I mean, it starts to melt pretty quickly anyway. And also you don't want to get too sensitive. You don't want to kind of cause sensitivity. I've actually got a tinted, um, moisturizer on today and some foundation don't do it on top of makeup um, I'm cheating really so work up towards your ear and across when you come to your eyes you're gonna work inward so we're gonna also massage a little bit and this is just helping to speed that lymph across because what ice essentially does is it constricts the blood vessels and it contracts the muscles so if you think of everything which is out is coming in. It's all kind of shooting in, which is why if you've got um, any excess fluid from too much salt in your food the night before, or if you've been drinking or crying or whatever, you'll find that um, that will suddenly kind of almost be reabsorbed into the, into the bloodstream. Likewise, your muscles will contract, so you'll feel this sort of firm sensation, firming sensation in your skin. So working all the way in, around the top you can go round, and then again on the forehead working towards the temple. So, and then once you've done it once, you can go over and do it again. And um, it's very, very easy. Now you can make your ice cubes out of anything. Just plain water is perfectly fine. Green tea is good, so you can um, just boil a, you know, a pot of green tea, nice quality, strong green tea and then freeze that. And that is really good because it's a diuretic and it's actually better than putting just black tea pads, um, you know, tea bags, brewed tea bags on your eyes, simply because the tannin can stain your skin a little bit. So with green tea and made into something like this, so it's more diluted, there's less chance of that happening. So that's really, really good if you are more of a puffy face person. Lemon is also good, so lemon um, and water frozen, also you can put 
slices of lemon inside it very easy to do that's good for brightening the skin so if you're more someone that has that kind of almost uh, you, you're prone to more um, pigmentation and looking more sort of greeny or grayish in the morning it's very brightening you can do it with rose water which is good for inflammation and toning the skin I've made this with rose water frozen plus little roses inside also look really pretty and they're very it's kind of cheap to do um, or you can do it with cucumber you can juice a cucumber or you can just put cucumber inside ice and as it's melting you're getting the benefits from that as well another nice way to use cucumber actually is um, because sometimes when I'm traveling I just use the pads that you can get from um, you know lots of companies these are the Elemis ones which I often use which are the under eye pads so these are really good if you get them straight out of the fridge or you can just take a cucumber slice which you can put in the fridge the night before you can put it even in the freezer in between your um, ice cubes in a bowl and then just put those on and they're also good in the morning if it's mainly your eyes it's puffy not the rest of your face because what you can do is you can leave them on while you're doing your eye makeup so you can do all of your eye makeup then remove them clean off any excess and then do the rest of your makeup by which time your under eye area all that puffiness will have contracted and it will be nice and flat and bright under your eyes so that's a really good way to do it so if you're not DIY minded and you prefer to have something which is already sort of prepared more of a kit there are two really great kits on the market that I think are great first one is by Anne Semenon and she is a very famous French facialist I actually had a facial with her years ago she also does an ice therapy facial but she makes these ready-made ice cubes one for face and one for eyes so these come all prepared all the work is done and then you just pop these into the freezer and they freeze and they contain a lot more kind of complicated ingredients and so not necessarily things that you would make yourself at home so for example the face one has lysine in it evening primrose red seaweed wild indigo which is something which is good for sort of helping with stress on the skin azaleic acid so something for lightning spots um, and the one for the eyes so the under eyes is has in it hyaluronic acid so good for plumping up the skin, um, also ginkgo, so good for stimulating the circulation, gourd extract, hesperin, which is something which is good for dark circles, and um, they're made with a marine spring water, so a little bit more fancy. Um, they also come with these kind of ready-made little bags that you put the ice cube in, and um, but you do exactly the same thing so that's the first one another pre-made kit is this one by Jaloo and inside you get this kind of silicone receptacle and four tea bags and inside of these are hand prepared herbal concoctions it's really sweet actually because each one is hand stitched and has a little note on with hand made with love so a lot of care and attention and this one smells amazing I think you can smell the sage and the chamomile and the rose and there's oak bark and various other ingredients so you'll pop this into boiling water for 20 minutes 100 mils of water and then put the water into here and put this into your um, freezer and then each morning take it out let it kind of um, defrost for a second and then just push up and use the ice to contour shape your face or your eye area it does doesn't come with any kind of a cloth i prefer to use this with a cloth just because it melts so quickly that it starts running down your face and i prefer also to have a cloth between me and the ice um, just more gentle um, so I would use a cloth with that. Now if you prefer to make your own concoction but you want a similar delivery system then I found these silicone ice pops on Amazon so they're really really similar and they also have the lid and I've used this one already I just froze it last night with just plain old water put a cloth over it and do the same thing. So next I'm going to talk about something which isn't strictly ice therapy but if you don't fancy the kind of dripping and the, the messiness of using ice or maybe if you want to use something like this and you've already got your makeup on then there are various things that you can buy or you can find around the house one of which is 
for example, this is one of my favorites. This is a spatula and a kind of applicator that comes with one of the um, Lancome face creams. Now the face cream is long gone, but I've always kept this because it's it just stays cold, even if it's not in the fridge. So sometimes I'll put this in the fridge the night before, but I'll take it on a job with me. And halfway through the day, if the model looks puffy or you know the eyes are looking tired, I can use this. I mean, this hasn't been in the fridge at all. Uh, uh, this is straight out of my kit and it feels really, really cold. So you can do a similar thing, but on top of makeup. Um, likewise, a lot of the contraptions you can buy, I bought this one on um, a flight on Japanese airlines from London to Japan. And because it's metal, it kind of stays um, cold. So you could do your contours or again, kind of work around the eye area. And there's lots and lots of these on the market. A new one that I found is this one by Nurse Jamie. So this is a sort of roller that you can use. And it has all of these metal studs, which again, stay quite cold. And I could use this definitely throughout the day without disturbing my makeup or without kind of m making a mess. There's also the one, the Icicle by um, 001, and that's in my facial massage video, which if you haven't seen, do have a look at because a lot of the techniques and the kind of movements that I'm using for lymph drainage and for stimulating the, s the skin and also draining the eye area, you can use with all of the ice cubes and things that I'm talking about today. And if you really don't want to spend any money, but you want to kind of do something like that, then you could just use a spoon. I mean, it's an ancient idea and it's been around for a million years, but it's still a good way to kind of get something nice and cold and metallic without making a mess on your makeup. So that's a real old technique, but um, still as good as ever. So that's it. Um, you can go as far as you want with this. I mean, it's really easy to make ice cubes. I think everyone is capable of doing that at home. And whether you use something like aloe vera, which is a really nice cooling and healing um, herb you can make out of aloe vera juice or the various teas, chamomile if you want something soothing, green tea for caffeine to really kind of decongest and depuff your eyes or um, lemon or cucumber or whatever. Lots of these things you've probably got already in your kitchen anyway. So I hope that was helpful and I'll see you soon.